Four Agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz, page 88. There is no way, if you are impeccable with your word, if you don't take anything personally, if you don't make assumptions, if you always do your best, then you are going to have a beautiful life. You are going to control your life 100%. The Four Agreements are a summary of the mastery of transformation, one of the masteries of the Toltec. You transform hell into heaven. The dream of the planet is transformed into your personal dream of heaven. The knowledge is there. It's just waiting for you to use it. The four agreements are there. You just need to adopt these agreements and respect their meaning and power. Just do your best to honor these agreements. You can make this agreement today. I choose to honor the four agreements. It's so simple and logical that even a child can understand them. But you must have a very strong will very strong will to keep these agreements why because wherever we go we find that our path is full of obstacles everyone tries to sabotage our commitment to these new agreements and everything around us is a setup for us to break them the problem is all the other agreements that are a part of the dream of the planet they are alive and they are very strong that's why you need to be a great hunter, a great warrior who can defend these four agreements with your life, your happiness, your freedom, your entire way of living depends on it. The warrior's goal is to transcend this world, to escape from this hell and never come back. As the Toltecs teach us, the reward is to transcend the human experience of suffering, to, be <clears throat> to become the embodiment of God. This is the reward. We really need to use every bit of power we have to succeed in keeping these agreements. I didn't expect that I could do it at first. I have fallen many times. I kept going. I didn't feel sorry for myself. There was no way that I felt sorry for myself. I said, if I fall, I'm strong enough. I'm intelligent enough. I can do it. I stood up and kept going. I fell. And I kept going and going. And each time it became easier and easier, yet in the beginning it was so hard, so difficult. So if you fall, do not judge. Do not give your judge the satisfaction of turning you into a victim. No. Be tough with yourself. Stand up and make the agreement again. Okay, I broke my agreement to be impeccable with, the, with my world. I will start all over again. I'm going to keep the four agreements just for today. Today I will be impeccable with my word. I will not take anything personally. I will not make any assumptions. I am, and I'm going to do my best. If you break an agreement, begin again tomorrow and again the next day. It will be difficult at first, but each day will become easier and easier until someday you will discover that you are ruling your life with these four agreements. And you will be surprised as... The way your life has been transformed. You don't need to be religious or go to church every day. Your love and self-respect are growing and growing. You can do it. If I did it, you can do it also. Do not be concerned about the future. Keep your attention on today. And stay in the present moment. Just live one day at a time. Always do your best to keep these agreements. And soon, it will be easy for you. Today is the beginning of a new dream. Chapter 6 The Toltec Path to Freedom Breaking Old Agreements Everyone talks about freedom. All around the world, different people, different races, different countries are fighting for freedom. But what is freedom? In America, we speak of living in a free country, but are we really free? Are we free to be who we really are? The answer is no, we are not free. True, freedom has to do with the human spirit. It is the freedom to be who we really are. Who stops us from being free? We blame the government, we blame the weather, we blame our parents, we blame religion, we blame God. We really, who really stops us from being free? We stop ourselves. What does it really mean to be free? Sometimes we get married and we say that we lose our freedom, then we get divorced and we are still not free. What stops us? Why can't we be ourselves? We have memories of long ago when we used to be free and we love being free, but we have forgotten what freedom really means. 
if we see a child who is two or three, perhaps four years old, we find a free human. Why is this human free? Because this human does whatever he or she wants to do. The human is completely wild. Just like a flower, a tree, or an animal that has not been domesticated. Wild. And if we observe humans who are two years old, we find that most of the time these humans have a big smile on their face and they're having fun. They're exploring the world. They're not afraid to play. They are afraid when they're hurt, when they're hungry, when some of their needs are not met. But they don't worry about the past, don't care about the future, and only live in the present moment. Very young children are not afraid to express what they feel. They are so loving that if they perceive love, they melt into love. They are not afraid to love at all. That is the description of a normal human being. As children, we are not afraid of the future or ashamed of the past. Our, our normal human tendency is to enjoy life, to play, to explore, to be happy, and to love. But what has happened with the adult human? Why are we, di why are we so different? Why are we not wild? From the point of view of the victim, we can say that something sad happened to us. And from the point of view of the warrior, we can say that what happened to us is normal. What has happened is that we have the book of law, the big judge, and the victim who rule our lives. We are no longer free because the judge, the victim, and the belief systems don't allow us to be who we really are. Once our minds have been programmed with all that garbage, we are not, no longer happy. This chain of training from human to human, from generation to generation, is perfectly normal in human society. You don't need to blame your parents for teaching you to be like them. What else could they teach you but what they know? They did the best they could, and if they abused you, it was due to their own domestication, their own fears, their own beliefs. They had no control over the programming they received, so they couldn't have behaved any differently there is no need to blame your parents or anyone who abused you in your life including yourself but it is time to stop the abuse it is time to free yourself of the tyranny of the judge by changing the foundation of your own agreements it is time to be free from the role of the victim the real you is still a little child who never grew up. Sometimes a little child comes out when you are having fun or playing, when you feel happy, when you are painting or writing poetry or playing the piano or expressing yourself in some way. These are the happiest moments of your life, when the real you comes out, when you don't care about the past and you don't worry about the future. You are childlike, but there is something that changes all that. We call them responsibilities. The judge says, wait a second, you are responsible, you have things to do, you have to work, you have to go to school, and you have to earn a living. All these responsibilities come to mind. Our face changes and becomes serious again. If you watch children when they are playing adults, you will see their little faces change. Let's pretend I'm a lawyer, and right away their faces change, the adult's face takes over. We go to court, and that is the face we see. And that is what we are. We are still children, but we have lost our freedom. The freedom we are looking for is the freedom to be ourselves, to express ourselves. But if we look at our lives, we will see that most of the time we do things just to please others, just to be accepted by others, rather than living our lives to please ourselves. That is what has happened to our freedom. And we see in our society and all the societies around the world that for every thousand people, 999 are completely domesticated. The worst part is that of most of us are uh, the worst part is that most of us are not even aware that we are not free. There is something inside that whispers to us that we are not free, but we do not understand what it is and why we are not free. The problem with most people is that they live their lives and never discover that the judge and the victim rule their mind, and therefore they don't have a chance to be free. The first step toward personal freedom is awareness. We need to be aware that we are not free in order to be free. We need to be aware of what the problem is in order to solve the problem. Awareness is always the first step because if you are not aware, there is nothing you can change. If you are not aware that your mind is full of wounds and emotional poison, you cannot begin to clean and heal the wounds and you will continue to suffer. 
There's no reason to suffer. With awareness, you can rebel and say, this is enough. You can look for a way to heal and transform your personal dream. The dream of the planet is just a dream. It is not even real. If you go into the dream and start challenging your beliefs, you will find that most of the beliefs that guided you into the wounded mind are not even true. You will find that you suffered all those years of drama for nothing. Why? Because the belief system that put in, that was put inside your mind is based on lies. That is why it is important for you to master your own dream. That is why the Toltecs, Toltecs became dream masters. Your life is a manifestation of your dream. It is an art. And you can change your life anytime if you aren't enjoying the dream. Dream masters create and a masterpiece of life. They control the dream by making choices. Stopping at page 100.